they got too much noise and chaos now. Excuse me, y'all. I'm sorry to disturb y'all. Anybody have changed the spare for food to eat? I don't carry cash on me. I'm so sorry. All right, thanks. Y'all have changed the spare for food to eat? What did you say? Y'all have changed the spare for food to eat? I think I have a couple, like, I know I have one dollar bill, okay. but I think that's all the cash I have right now. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Good luck. Thanks, Thank y'all. You. Excuse me, y'all have changed the spare for food to eat? I don't have any cash on it. All right, thanks. Excuse me, anybody got changed to spare for food to eat? Oh. Well. So. The online stalker perps who been stalking my channel for about almost three years, they know or probably remember the situation of the altercation that happened when when I got um, wrongfully banned from Bodacious and now I'm banned for the rest of my life. Can never set foot in that place for the rest of my life. Um, see, they told me I was welcome back and then they turn around and switch it and then try to make it like as if as if um they try to th those are definitely gang stalkers they turn around and make it like as if i'm banned from the re for the rest of my life and then they try to make it like oh once it's put in the system we can't take it out and so um so that's the manager she tried to say i mean what, i forgot what her name was but she tried to say that, um, she, tr she tried to say, basically, she can't override the lower level employees. And once it's put in the system, 
But and then she tried to say it was for my safety and everybody else's safety. Like as if I'm such a freaking danger or something. So the the younger I mean I know that I know for a fact this guy is younger than me. The white guy who been stalking, following, and harassing me, he left me alone, just like Alex Dupree, left me alone for a very long time. This young white guy <clears throat> went to, um, uh, like, over an hour and a half after I came and went to get me something to eat and try to charge my phone, he comes in and orders, like, a beer or some drinks or something. And I'm like, why can't you just stay away from me and leave me alone? If you see me up in there, why the hell you keep on trying to follow wherever, everywhere I go you want to come? Or sometimes he would, like back then, he would try to race me or try to beat me to bodacious and make him, like, just like Alex Dupree, make themselves there before I get there. So, um, because of him, I can't stay sitting up in there and be ni nice and cool in the air conditioning. I mean, in the air conditioning. Um, and I mean, my, my phone got to a full charge, but you know, I'm just letting y'all know that that guy is back to following me again. And it was about a year ago at the Peter Brook place. Um, when he, he trying to act like he wanted to stalk where I was. And then when I call him out on it, he tried again to set me up to get banned. So he will follow me to every, just about every restaurant downtown or follow me here, follow me there. And so, um, at the place where I was at and where I would just went to go eat, I couldn't put him on film inside the building because I knew he would try to make a big scene and set me up to get banned from there. And then I found out that that lady was trying to say the, the so-called top manager, one of the top managers at Bodacious, she was trying to say that that guy eventually got banned from there for other reasons. So, you know, I got sick and like he, he would do like Alex Dupree. And he would gang stalk me at some somewhat similar, the same places as that Alex would stalk me at. And I never saw them two together. And they had the black guy. Um, he looked like he was mixed with black and Native American. And last I saw him, he was trying to sex traffic me and offer me to prostitute. Like he was riding the buses and he would perp me on the bus. He would always look at me like I'm crazy. And then he acted like he wanted to offer me the prostitute. Then I saw he got a Mercedes that looked like, you see this Mercedes right here? He got a, a Mercedes that looked like a, like a gray version of that. So the last time I saw that guy, I think, I saw him driving a Mercedes. Come on, man. Stop. See, this is noise harassment. ridiculous but you see, you see all three of these perps work at O'Reilly's three white vehicles in a row but then there's two separate ones over there and then there's that white one over there but they strategically parked three in a row on all these spaces, and this was what they they did this on purpose. All three of them work for O'Reilly's, and that's that Honda Element gang stalking vehicle over there. The perp tried to talk about hail Satan in the middle of the night, and you know, and I think these two cars, um, they. O'Reilly's gang stalkers as well.
So um, the black guy that looked like he's mixed with Native American, who will follow me around everywhere. Yeah, I haven't seen him in a long time. And it was him, Alex Dupree, and this white guy, this young white guy that I, that I was telling. And this guy, he'd be like in disguise or so, has a new style. And I and I can tell it's him by the beard, the beard and mustache and the eyes. I, I can, he has those, what they say, crazy looking eyes. You know, he has those crazy looking eyes. <clears throat> and so I couldn't film or, rep- I mean, or record him. You know, I just got up and left the place. You know, I just got up and left the place. You know, but, but, um, I'm, I'm, I'm doing this for my documentation that the, the bastard must be back to following me around again. Back to following me around again. And he'll follow me around and don't tell me shit. You know, and, you know, he staged and set that up for me to um get, quote unquote, punished with being wrongfully banned from Bodacious for putting him on film and calling him out on gang stalking and following me every fucking where. And then they would glitch my phone camera and, or, you know, <clears throat> and he would be walking and stuff like that. And he would follow, I mean, as I say, he would follow me just about, I mean, <clears throat> he would follow me to, um, like he followed me at the Whataburger near the mall. Well, that was my, and the first day I had that job working at PSC campus, cleaning the bathrooms back in 2019, my first day of work there was the day I saw him. And the, what he was doing was he was juggling his keys. The very next morning, the very next morning, I saw him at Bodacious and I was like, I was still trying to figure things out with the, um, gang stalking and stuff like that. So it's like, I try to be like, well, Hey, aren't you the same guy I saw earlier this morning, a few hours ago? He's like, uh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, you know, but he was, they said like juggling keys or whatever. It's like an anchoring tactic with the, um, gang stalking and stuff like that or clicking the pen or something like that. And so, um, you know, at my soonest opportunity, I went to go use the bathroom and get, gather my stuff and then just walk out of there. And I just feel totally disgusted and grossed out by him. You know, um, and so, me just trying to avoid trouble, but like, it, like, why would you continue to follow me at places if, you know, I put you on film and then you make a big scene and stuff, but you still keep following me every fucking where. You still keep following me everywhere I go. If I would go to Cactus Cantina, oh, he was following me over there too. So it's been a while since they had the same stalkers stalking me on foot. Um, the lady with the um, black Buick Envision, I don't see her following me around anymore. But she used to follow me every single fucking morning. Oh, wait, no. The, one of the guys who falsely accused me of stealing their electricity, he makes his rounds every every morning to follow me with, with, um, with one... Hey, excuse me, anybody have changed the spare for food to eat? Yeah, I'm taking a damn video, y'all, Masonic gang stalkers, especially him, him right there, this little midget right there in the, in the navy blue. Yeah, and they think that shit is funny. It's like he blew, he blew me off and ignored me. Yeah, they look like they're rich enough that they can fucking afford to help. And as I said, you know, they freaking smiling like they think that shit is funny. You don't care about a dog on female being forced on the streets and homeless. And y'all some freaking men. But then able-bodied 20-year-old white male with a dog 
you, you know, they can go and get a job and work somewhere. But no, they um try to live like a, a satanic hippie. You know, try to live like a satanic modern day hippie and glorify themselves. Oh, I'm not homeless. I'm just houseless. And they walk around with the damn dog. And oh, they can get like hundreds per, 500 per day and they go spend it up on drugs and booze and stuff. I'm sitting here trying to, I can barely get $5 in one day. Well, it's a struggle to get five, but on a real, really so-called lucky day, I can get 10. On a really, really, really so-called lucky day, I'll end up getting 20. But yeah, that's what they say, that the, um, they tell the Masonic cult members to not help. I mean, the, the Freemason gang stalking cult members, they tell them not to help you. Or they have the fake script lying and saying, well, oh, I'm sorry. Um, uh, we only carry cash. I'm, I mean, say, well, we don't carry credit card. We just only carry cash. <clears throat> so. So. um, Also, the instant like I walked out of that place where the guy was at, the instant I walk out of there. I, I ended up with a headache and then the headache went away. And now just as this second now is come, the headache came back. So, um, so yeah, I mean that, I, I, that somebody was hitting me with the energy weapons to cause me to have a headache. I mean, as soon as I walk out of that building and the guy, he looked dead at, he kept looking at me. So, I mean, the guy looked like he's like in his late thirties or early, I mean, I'm sorry, late twenties or early thirties. He's, I promise you he's younger than me. And so he tried to think he can discipline and handle me. You know, and then try to call the Garrett guy. Garrett used to love me. Garrett used to respect me. I never had an issue with Garrett. But I think that he, that guy, I don't know if he was the one snitching to Mr. James or, and, or if it was him or Alex telling Mr. James to fix me a small amount of food and stuff. And Mr. James used to always perp me and give, think, treat me like I deserve to be punished by giving me like small amount of food and stuff and while filling everybody else's bowl up with, with grits and stuff like that. <clears throat> so, um, I mean, it's like, you know, you have an issue with me. You know, I have an issue with you. I don't know you. You've been following me around for almost three years. Actually, no, he's been following me around for three years. Well, almost precisely three years. Because I don't remember, it was September 20-something when I tried to, when, when, was it September, September 23rd or something like that in 2019? But I know I do know it was September 23rd, 2021 when I started work, doing this temp service at the schools, doing the same kind of job, cleaning bathrooms and stuff, you know. <clears throat> so... They had this older website that's now defunct that try to say that don't report any gang stalking unless you have substantial evidence. Well, me, evidence or not, I report everything because, and I document everything. Well, video document or picture, doc, mainly video, but some picture document, documenting everything um, because of the gaslighting. So even though they just gaslit me, I'm still going to report it anyway. And then I will say, well, this person had one tail light, and the instant I put on film, he hurry up and switch his tail tail lights back to normal, something like that. And I was I would talk about it on the video, and sometimes the car will pull off too fast, but I'll just document what happened. But whether y'all see it or not, God sees everything. He knows everything. He knows what's going on. So I was listening to my Christian songs while the guy walked up in there into that place where I was at. 
you know. So, what time is it? 3.43 p.m. I don't know if it's too late for me to try to take a nap because I'm tired or if I should just force myself to wait. That's the second car with the Texas license plate. The, the, they had the red Jeep with the Texas license, the red Jeep truck with the Texas license plate. So, um, I mean, those, those guys, oh, you don't need to be taking pictures. Well, I was, I wasn't taking any pictures. I was already filming a video and y'all were walking by and, you know, the other guy tried to blow me off and try to hide and stuff. The, the little midget in the navy blue. So, I'm feeling physical. I didn't even do much physical activity. So far, I laid here most of the day. And I was here almost, not all day, but off and on almost all day so far. And I feel like I'm tired of being at this spot. I wish that I had like a permanent home. But it's hard to get, very, almost impossible, very hard to get help. I mean, it's hard to even get help for a meal to eat. But, you know, so it's even harder to get a pl help with a place to live. But I, I did say in a previous video that I worked on a few couple of blog posts, huh? Yeah. So I'm not feeling good. I just all of a sudden, you know, randomly have a headache after after that guy. And, um, you know, it's, this is just... I mean, a whole bunch of men following around a fem a single homeless, disabled, targeted female, and society does not care. But I'm thankful and glad that, far as I know, Alex Dupree disappeared. Come on, man. Look, y'all see that too? Like, how how does that happen? But um, I know the reason why they wrongfully banned me from Bodacious is because of um, covert. Ra I, I know I, I ain't stupid. I know it's covert racism. Like, how are you the top manager and you can't override somebody that's a position lower than you? I never heard that until this gang stalking. I mean, at GNC, I think it was in the, at the Riverwalk in New Orleans. Um, come on, man. The, the the regular manager acting like she couldn't override the decision of a regular employee. They did the, the same thing at the fake dirty downtown Whataburger. Um, they try to make like the manager act like they couldn't override the decision of a lower level employee who's who can get fired. Perps. I mean, and then they try to say once in, in the system it can't be reversed, but but they didn't even consider that. They, they automatically think just because a manager makes a certain decision that the manager is God and the manager is always right. Like you don't think a, a, there's a such thing as a manager being crooked or making a wrong decision, an, an unfair or wrong decision. I mean, you're just not gonna. I mean, if you're a higher manager and there's a lower manager and you're not going to override them or you're not going to override the lower level employee, that's not the manager. <clears throat> and I haven't. Wait, hold on. And, and I mean, yeah. So that guy, he 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 tried to um. He he tried to set me up to get wrongfully banned from that Peterbrook place when he was gang stalking me there. And I put him on film there, and he tried to make a big scene and call the police. Well, stop fucking following me, and you won't have to worry. Stop gang stalking me. You won't. That's all you gang stalkers. If you don't gang stalk me, I mean, if you don't gang stalk me or or covertly harass me or human traffic me then 
you wouldn't have to freaking worry anything about being put on film for nothing. Look at this red car. So, um, so, I mean, you, if, if you wouldn't tr try to criminally traffic me, you wouldn't have to, well, don't freaking try to harass and stalk and follow and bully somebody and then get mad and offended when they call you out on it. 